In the previous video, I explained how to use Twilio Elastic Zip Trunking in your free switch setup to route Twilio numbers to your free switch or make calls from your free switch number to your landline or mobile number. But sometimes we need more than a basic call integration with Twilio. For example, you might want to integrate your free switch or Asterisk system to Twilio to use Twilio AI capabilities. For example, for creating a live transcript or translation system of the calls. The customer will talk to your agent in different language and you can translate it, for example, to Deutsch or English. And when you are talking to the customer, you are talking in English, but the system can translate it in a live manner to a different language and play for the customer. This is one of the examples that you can do with the Twilio capabilities and integration, of course, with your uh, local public system. Let's say we discuss about free switch here to achieve this capability. And the possibility, for example, is to use Twilio to analyze the mood of your customers. Are they happy or angry with your services? With Twilio integration, you can bring all these capabilities to your local SIP PBX. It can be Asterisk, it can be free PBX, or any other SIP based payback system. In this video, I'll explain how to achieve this integration in the free switch, but the mechanism I can say is the same for any other SIP payback as well. Let's start by explaining our lab setup. I'm running a Debian 12 with free switch installed and configured with a basic setup on my local network. The IP address is 192.168.2.x, that is my local IP range. It's installed on a virtual machine VM in my home lab, hosted on a Proxmox on a Zimo board. I intentionally choose to use FreeSwitch within the local network to demonstrate that it's possible to connect your local CPBX to Twilio even if your system doesn't have a public IP address or domain. Our connection to Twilio will be established using the SIP protocol and, we'll, and we will be utilizing Twilio SIP programmable domains. The call flow will start from the PSTN, for example, a customer's mobile number, and be routed to the Twilio platform. Twilio will then handle the call routing using Twilio markup language, or TWIML, which will learn how to use it. From there, Twilio will route the call via SIP to our FreeSwitch system. Since our FreeSwitch setup doesn't have a public IP address, we need to enable SIP registration in Twilio SIP domain to make this integration work. Okay, let's start by configuration side on the Twilio website. The first step is to log into your Twilio account, select voice, manage, and zip domains. Here you can add the new zip domain. Uh, let's, you, you need to give it a unique name. I choose VoIP DevOps, and then the same name for the uh, URI. You need to uh, define a credential list because my free, free, my free switch system doesn't have a public IP address. I want to register my free switch to Twilio SIP domain. So you can click add and uh, give it a name and create a username and password. I have already created one, so I will just uh, select the group that I have already created. So here we don't want to authenticate your IP address. Why? Because our free switch doesn't have a public IP address. So Twilio won't know how to uh, allow from that IP address. And uh, we need to enable the SIP registration because as I said, our free switch doesn't have a public IP address and we need to give the credential list and we save it. Okay, that's the first step on the SIP domain uh, configuration. Before we go to the next step, we need to know what is a Twilio markup language. Twilio markup language or TWIML is an XML based language used to instruct Twilio on how to handle incoming and outgoing calls and messages. It allows you to define actions like playing an audio, sending SMS, recording calls, or forwarding calls to other systems. That's the forwarding call that we need right now to forward the calls from Twilio to our FreeSage system. You don't need to have a web server to host your Twilio ML basic scripts. So, and there's a feature Twilio bin that we can use that to host our script. 
Let's take a look at a simple Twilio ML script. Here what it does. The first part of the code plays a message. Thank you for calling to the free switch. This message will be played to the caller as soon as the caller is answered. After the message, the dial tag instructs Twilio to forward the call. The timeout is 20 seconds. In the last step, Twilio is told to forward the call to our SIP address, in this case our free switch system. In summary, the Twilio script first plays a message and then forwards the call to our free switch via SIP. This allows us to handle the call within our local system.